for with these storms coming through there. That's right. Yeah. And so people think, oh, it's just a tropical mm -hmm. storm. But the problem is, is how much rain. So sometimes it's not the winds. It is the heavy amounts of rain. And he's saying 15, even isolated areas could see up to 20 wow. inches of rain. That's the, the most extreme case. But that is a possibility. And it could become hurricane status right before making landfall. But again, that doesn't really matter. It's just the rain amounts that will be affecting that area. But uh, we are talking about our weather here at home. We've got a holiday weekend coming up and we've got some big changes in the forecast. Beautiful live look outside right now. We've got sunny skies from the coast inland. We're looking live at Long Beach. You can see we've got a nice breeze there, what it's doing to the flag. And uh, we do have some cooler weather on tap over the next few days. In fact, today was cooler than yesterday. Today was about five degrees cooler than we were yesterday at this time. 83 degrees for the high. In fact, that's actually below average and that will be the trend in the next few days. So looking at the Inland Empire, we're still dealing with very hot conditions. Again, cooler than they've been, but we're into the 90s right now, 95 in Van Nuys. Much cooler as you head to the coast, and let me show you why. Because along the coast, we've got that onshore flow, and what that onshore flow does is keep those temperatures nice and comfortable at the beaches. What it will be doing over the next few nights and mornings is also bringing in that marine layer. But as you head further inland, uh, we do have some gusty winds. So these are sustained winds. So we've got gusts higher than that, but they're sustained out of the southwest in Apple Valley at 18, 18 also in Lancaster, Riverside coming in at 14 mile an hour winds. Uh, so again, we do have mostly clear skies right now, but we will see that marine layer, low clouds and patchy fog right along the coast tonight through tomorrow morning. But big changes in the weather by the weekend, all because of this low pressure system moving on shore. And what that will do is bring in much cooler temperatures for the end of the week, the weekend, and of course your Labor Day holidays. So keep that in mind if you're making plans uh, to do a little barbecuing outside. It's going to be perfect weather wherever you are in the Southland. Mostly clear tonight. Overnight lows right around 68. Your travel forecast for tomorrow. Uh, petting out of Burbank, temperatures will still be hot, but definitely cooler than they've been. 91 degrees for the high tomorrow. And uh, Las Vegas, although still hot, definitely cooler than the last few days. 102, 64 degrees in San Francisco. We're looking at a high tomorrow in in Palm Springs at 106, 75 degrees in San Diego. All right, your extended forecast. Look at this at the beaches. The next seven days, good to go. Mid 70s for highs in the LA and OC metro areas, mid to lower 80s over the next two days. But as we head into Saturday, Sunday, into your Labor Day, 70s for highs. And Valley's still a bit warm tomorrow, but much cooler by the weekend. Uh, look at that. The warmest Valley areas, guys, for your holiday weekend mid 80s. Really? So that's very pleasant. I yes. can't remember the last time we had 80s in the valley. <laughs> I know it is going to be so nice, especially yeah. because it's been so hot this mm. week. Yeah, it yes. has been, hasn't it? Yes. Nice little Jackie. Break for it. Yes. Yes. She you. brings good news. Thank you.